Hi, my name is Milana Pokrajac and you're watching MMTV. In our lead story this week, dealer groups and industry associations catering to younger planners. Take a look. A new trend has seen dealer groups cater to younger financial planners in a bid to reduce the average age of their workforce. For example, dealer group Synchron reduced the average age of their advisors from 60 to 49 in the last five years by introducing a program called NextGen. Former AFS boss Peter Daly confirmed the trend, saying the group had a specific recruitment program targeting younger advisors. Other companies like AusUnity Personal Financial Services, on the other hand, offer services which happen to attract new practices often run by younger professionals. In a similar fashion, the AFA moved to secure younger members by launching its GenX program six years ago, while the FBA has in place its student and future planner memberships. We spoke to Dante De Gori, FBA's Director of Policy and Standards. Young financial planners or students who are studying financial planning um, are very important to the future of our profession. Uh, they are critically important for one, in respect to the access to advice process, so we need more financial planners if we want more Australians to access financial advice. And also, in respect to the future development of the profession, having people coming out of university who have graduated with a degree in financial planning or, or something similar is very important for the professionalisation of the industry. In respect to what the FPA is doing, uh, we are working very heavily with the universities through our committee, the FPET committee, uh, in respect to a national curriculum, in making sure that irrespective of which university you attend, you're able to access uh, a high degree qualified financial planning course. Uh, and to engage the students themselves uh, to look at, uh, look at financial planning as a career option for them, uh, we are engaging with those students via free membership and allowing them to join the FPA family and making sure that they can see firsthand what opportunities lie ahead for them through the association and through career opportunities with our members. Also in Money Management this week, Ratings House's Day of Reckoning starts on September 1 and is infrastructure an underrated investment? You can also catch the latest on the AAA licence cancellation saga and the government's intentions regarding the superannuation tax. That will be all for this week. Bye for now.